Hello Gemini, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please caution nothing, so thank you. Please remember this is a general reading and it definitely won't resonate with everyone, so please take what resonates for you. We've got practical practice gratitude, last quarter moon in Sagittarius. Last quarter moon is about making way for new beginnings here. So if we practice gratitude and we stay positive and we see our blessings in our everyday life and are thankful for them, we will attract more of these things into our lives. We will attract more blessings. So this could be affirmations you're saying. You know, I am grateful for everything I have. Things like that. Practice uh, gratitude. New Moon and Gemini, think it through. Now, new moons make way for new opportunities. So you could be given a new opportunity here and you're going to have to think about it. This could be the new thing you're attracting because you're being grateful for everything you have. New moon in Cancer, relax. So if you relax, you're going to go smoothly into this new opportunity. Now, we need to relax and ground ourselves if we've got to think about things. And we want to be coming from a positive mindset. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. Please show me clearly, Spirit, show me clearly. The Nine of Wands, Ten of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Now this here is about challenges. You're going through one thing after another, but these are karmic lessons. And it's on the practice gratitude. Now it can feel like a tough time, but please remember that every time you're learning, you're learning about yourself, what you want and what you don't want. You're learning about your boundaries. You're learning about your likes and dislikes. So we need to be grateful. I know it's difficult. But we all have challenges in life, but we have to understand that these challenges are there to help us grow as people. And they're all part of our karmic lessons and our journey. And if we think it through and see the blessings in these challenges, there's going to be a lot of benefits that will come from these lessons you're learning. So a lot of knowledge is power. You know, there's blessings at the end of the rainbow. This is a 10. The thing about this is you're nearly at the end of these challenges. If you just keep going just that wee bit longer, you're going to come to the 10 of wands. And the 10 of wands is the end of burdens. So persevere that wee bit longer. Think it through. Relax. You might want to take a step back, take a holiday, take a break, take a day off, whatever it may be. We'll go for a walk. Because these lessons you're learning are going to serve you well. Your family will benefit, your soul tribe if you've not got a family, or just yourself. But there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You will be rewarded for this, definitely. So we have to be grateful for everything we go through. Grateful for the people that challenge us because they help us learn about ourselves. And there's a beautiful playfulness. We want to heal. We want to be good to ourselves, pamper ourselves here. We could be, have fond memories of people from the past or a past life who cross our path and help us enjoy life. But there's a childlike joy that we need to bring back here. So I know it's challenging. It might be time to, to be a wee bit more light-hearted and do things that are going to make us feel better. Um, a wee bit fun thing to release the stress at the moment. That would definitely help. Now let's see what this Nine of Wands is about. Please clarify this Nine of Wands spirit, please. The Eight of Swords. Yeah. The Nine of Pentacles. And the Five. Of wands. Now, the five of wands is challenges. There's mental challenges here. You're doubting yourself. You're feeling hard done by. You're feeling challenged. You're feeling worn out. This is doubting yourself to be able to get through these challenges. You're still standing here. You're still standing. You will come good. You will come good. We need to change this. We need to come away and relax and come away from any antagonistic people, situations or environments. And we have to stop dwelling on the challenges, on the negativity of these challenges. Now, I know that's easy. We're getting in our own road here. We can't see the way forward because we're seeing this as negative. These challenges are very positive things that will serve you well. So we need to change our mindset. If there's antagonistic people or environments or any kind of competition around, we need to relax. We need to come away from that. We need to do something that's lighthearted and joyful and playful to give ourselves the break that's needed to get through this. And we'll start to don't overthink this. Accept it. Go with the flow. Think this through. Take your time. Don't get up in your head about it. Listen to your intuition because this is going to serve you well. When you get to the end of this challenging time, you're going to come out into your own because this is a very well balanced person here. Um, she's somebody who, I'm saying she is not a gender specific reading, but she's somebody who knows what to hold on to and knows what to let go. So this could be financial, it could be within your challenges within your financial situation. It could be um, that you are 
um, becoming single again. It could be that as well. You might want to think that through because this is the singles card. This is young Empress though. She's very good at creating balance in her life. And when people look at her, they know that she's a well-balanced person. So this, these lessons that you're learning are definitely going to educate you in a way that makes you go forward to have a better life, a more well-balanced life. You're going to be better with money. You're going to be better with relationships. You're going to know what environments to put, you know, to be in, what and who to put your efforts into. You're learning loads here. These are karmic lessons. So don't be too hard on yourself or life. Uh, this is definitely going to work out in your favour. You're going to be all the better for it. All the better for it. Um, the Empress is some. The Empress is somebody who thinks things through. Because she has to think about how she's going to keep this balance in her life. And she creates beautiful things and harmony around her. So the Ten of Cups, we will have the Two of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Page of Cups. Now this here is about choosing the path. You might have to problem solve here. Take a break. You might have to communicate. You might have to, you know, move things around here to get through these challenges. Um, you might have to gather information. There might be a legal situation that helps you move on, but you're going to have to think this through. And this is how you're choosing your path to go forward here to create better things for yourself. Now, this could be, like I say, a legal situation. It could be a professional person coming forward with information or somebody giving you advice or you deciding what path clearly you need to go down to go towards, you know, your blessings and your happiness. You're thinking about your happiness. So there's decision making all the time needing to be made in life. It doesn't mean to say we're on the wrong path. It doesn't mean to say that we can't achieve our goals. It just means that there's challenging times sometimes that we're presented with. There could also be an apology coming in if you're dealing with somebody who's younger um, here as well. But you're going to surprise yourself. There's going to be good surprises. I always feel this wee fish jumping out as, as good surprises for you. Because if you're going through challenging times, you're going to get the clarity you need to go forward. These are great life lessons that you could take with you. Inspiration. Inspiration. A new, a new idea comes to you and a, a gentle whisper inside your heart. Listen and take action. This is an inspiration from high above. And it could be you're choosing your path, thinking it through and choosing your path. Resolving your issues here, most definitely, with clarity and strategy. Strategic decision making. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.